What a day! What a lovely day! I was trying to be as crazy as the actors in this film, but um, they did a pretty damn good job. It's tough to beat. <laughs> anyway, hey there, guys. What is up? It's Autobot Mike 18 here, back with another Blu ray review and unboxing. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Now, in my intro, I said, What a day! What a lovely day! Um, it's nighttime right now. Yeah, it's dark, guys. It is night. It is. I usually shoot these during the day, um, especially when I have to do it in my car, but um, I was busy. Um, as many, real quick, guys, before I get into this Blu ray review and unboxing, first off, of course, this Blu ray review and unboxing is for, if I can get the bag off, um, is for Mad Max Fury Road. That's right, guys. One of the biggest and best reviewed movies of the year. Mad Max Fury Road is now available on Blu-ray. It came out today, September 1st. And I got the Target exclusive version. That's the one I'm going to be reviewing and unboxing. But real quick, guys, to preface this review, I am sorry I'm shooting this at night. I am sorry I'm shooting this in my car. It's 10 o'clock right now, and I just got home. I'm not even, like, like I'm in my hometown, but I'm in some weird seedy parking lot I found. <laughs> no, the reason why I'm in this weird odd parking lot is because there's a like a strong light coming to my right and uh, it's it, it's helping me light this the video so yeah. But I would have done this in my normal location, done a regular review and unboxing but I was really busy today. I didn't get to Target to pick up the Blu-ray until uh, a half hour ago, 9.30 and I just got back home now. I was busy all day as you know I just started my, my second year of college this week um, so, t like, I had one long class all day long, and I couldn't even get to the store before I went to class. Like, I had class at 10 in the morning, so I couldn't go to Target. Um, and I was busy, so then, like, after class, I was meeting with friends, and we're catching up because we haven't seen each other for the summer and everything, and then I had a, an event to go to, and it was just chaos all day long, guys. So, nevertheless, I'm sorry this Blue Review is up late, and again, I'm sorry it's in my car and at night. Nevertheless, let's get into the Blue Review and unboxing before you guys all get bored of me, uh, for Mad Max Fury Road. Um, I'll, uh, almost dropped it, um, I will... Uh, talk about the Blu-ray picture and audio quality towards the end, and I'll uh, I'm obviously I'm going to unbox it right now, and I'll talk a little bit about the special features. But obviously, I just got it; haven't even opened it, so I have no idea what's uh, to expect with all that. So, guys, uh, without further ado, let's uh, take a look at the Blu-ray itself. Let me just uh, flip this. There we go. Okay, so guys, there is Mad Max Fury Road. This is again the Target exclusive, which includes a 64-page comic book. Uh, based off the movie, um, and I went to Target. This was twenty two ninety nine, guys. I think Best Buy's doing a steel book if you want to go to Best Buy for it. But uh, this was twenty two ninety nine, a uh, uh, good deal in my opinion. The price stickers say twenty four ninety nine, um, but uh, they're wrong. It's twenty two ninety nine. Um, now here's the weird thing. Now I want you guys to tell me if your targets did the same thing. I got a little bit of an odd story. Just a quick question for you guys if you went to pick this up today. Uh, if you went to Target to buy the version with the comic book, did you see Fury Road copies without a slip cover and without the, the, uh, the comic book, but it had the sticker on it that said only at Target? They were selling the same thing without this slip cover and without the actual comic book but they it had the sticker on it that said includes the comic book and they were selling it for 19.99 so they were totally scamming people man and I, I took note of that I was like what the hell uh, but I don't, I don't know what was up with that maybe it was just my target I don't know um, but anyway let's get back as I'm moving the steering wheel with my legs um, let's get back to the unboxing uh, this is released from Warner Brothers, guys, as you can tell right there. So this is the Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo. Tom Hardy, Chalice, Chalice, Charlie's Theron, and uh, Mad Max Fury Road. There's the logo. I love that logo there. Uh, there's Furiosa looking like a badass, same as the poster. Uh, and, of course, there's Max driving the war rig. And then we have a certified fresh Rotten Tomatoes. And, yes, this was certified very high. It's like 98%. Uh, digital copy sticker, Target sticker. I can't wait to show you guys the comic book even though I haven't opened it. Uh, Blu-ray disc, Mad Max Fury Road. There you go. Warner Brothers. Uh, now, you take a look at the back. Now, because I got... Oh, same thing on the other side. You take a look at the back. Now, because I got this at Target, the slip... They did make special slip covers, which, in my opinion, doesn't make sense. They should have just shoved the comic book into the standard version and just shipped them in Target. I don't know. But they made a special slip cover, and I'll show you in a second, but this slip cover is actually uh, bigger 
than the standard slipcovers. You can see the comic is in there. Still haven't opened this, um, but they made the slipcovers bigger to fit the comic in there, as composed as compared to the uh, regular release, Santa release. But anyway. Here we go. We have, um, there's a bio on the film, guys. If you haven't seen the movie and you'd like to read up about it, there you go. Just pause the video and put it in HD. Again, there's a shot of Max, um, looking like a boss, even though he isn't the main character of the movie, essentially. Even though he's the titular character. Oh, well. Includes exclusive Mad Max Fury Road, 64-page comic by Vertigo Comics. And special features-wise, it says, drive full throttle into the blood and uh, gasoline world of Max Furiosa and the Morton, where only the mad survive. George Miller, Tom Hardy, and Charlize Theron take you inside the grueling desert mayhem as they create some of the most high-velocity action ever put on film. So there you have it. There's the rest of the back of the slipcover. All right, guys, so let's take the slipcover off. Uh, let's do that. Um, I'm going to put this here, and I want to just show you guys just a quick little comparison. Um... So here's the, the Blu-ray with the slipcover off. This is how it comes packaged. The comic book is put on this, uh, is like plastered in with the, the shrink wrap. Okay, and if you take a look at the back, as far as differences go, just before I open this up, um, as far as differences go, you get this quote, best action movie ever made, and you get two more pictures from the film. Furiosa and Nux, I think was his name. <laughs> yeah, I think I got that right. All right, so let's open this up, and of course I'll show you guys some of the comic. Not too much of it, though. I don't want to, you know, like draw this video out. So let me open up the shrink wrap. Some guy's waving to me. What's up, man? No, I'm kidding. Um, Tita, guys. That's all you got to do, man. It's just put your mouth on it. Sounds weird, guys. These videos are weird. All right, um, they're strange. I'm gonna be honest. So, oh god, look at this. I got the shrink wrap off. They put that stupid glue thing on the comic book. See that? I hate that so much. But it, the comic book's stuck. All right, I want to real quick look through this. I'll do it in a second. Okay, so things are sticking all over the place, guys. It's, it's chaos. I'm taking this stupid thing off. I hate when they do this. Come on, Target. Target always does that, though. Target's the only damn place that does it. All right, so this is the Blu-ray uh, case without the slipcover. I'll show you guys the comic in a second. Now, crap, I know I have the uh, digital copy. is right out in the open. I don't want anyone to see it because I'm probably going to give it away. Um, okay, so there we have it. Uh, there's the DVD, just uh, blank black discs. And there is the Blu-ray of Fury Road. And really quick... I really want to cover this digital copy. There you go. You got the digital copy. So let me put you guys right here for a second. Let me pack this all back up, and I'll quickly show you the comic book. Um, here we go. Do I want to do it like this? No, I don't want to do it like this, but I will do it like this. Because why not? All right, so here's the comic book. Uh, based on the box office hit. I like the illustrations, actually. It looks pretty cool. Um, crap, this is like one of those like like small-ass comic book. I just dropped the Blu-ray. All right, so there's just an example, guys, of what you uh, will see in the comic book. I think it's basically just an adaptation of the movie, I'm assuming. Um, it's a little small, but... That's no, like, huge deal. I'm just flip through it. My only problem is that it's, like, you gotta, like, re like open it up like this to, like, read everything. I think that's kind of dumb. But, whatever. I'm trying to find characters. I just saw Morton Joe. I don't know where the Max is. He's the main character, guys. Where the hell is he? Or maybe it's, like, a prequel to, to like, the, uh, to Fury Road or something. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta actually read it. But um, I think it's pretty awesome. I like the illustration. I want to actually sit down and read this whole thing. But there's just an example of what you're going to get. All right, so now I got the Blu-ray. Okay, guys, I am... I Guys, I seriously apologize that um, I had to shoot this this way. I uh, would much rather do this in my, my, my room, in my normal location. Um, all right, so now here is my only flaw. I'm going to put this all back together. Here's my only flaw. Now that this doesn't have the tape thing on it, the, the sticky thing on it, you can't stick to it, and it's not going to 
stay when you put the slipcover over it. Let me try to get both on. Oh, there you go. See, the, the, here's the thing, guys. Now I'm gonna. I gotta show you it this way. Here's the thing. See, this is a bigger slipcover, as you can tell. It's not your standard size slipcover. So when you take the comic book out, I want to show you how loose this is. See how loose that is? So this Blu-ray is gonna slide right out. So I would recommend that you guys actually just put. The Blu-ray, uh, put the comic book in the case when you put this on your shelf. Because look, oh, let me get a wide shot. <laughs> See, it's just it's just going to slip right through, guys. See, I'm, I'm like holding it up barely, and then, yeah, that's going to happen. So, put the comic book in the Blu-ray. That's the only downfall of the packaging of this release. But it, it looks nice and tight, and it feels thick, which is good. Like, it, I like when... It, like it feels like you have like big sets like big blu-ray packages and whatnot i think that's awesome so anyway guys there you have it there is mad max fury road the uh blu-ray combo pack uh dvd inclusive digital copy available now in stores uh just real quick guys to go over the picture and audio quality i will talk briefly about the movie again since i just opened this i have not seen the blu-ray picture and audio quality however um, I did look at the Blu-ray.com review two days ago, and it was awarded, I think, five stars for picture quality and four and a half for audio, I believe. Uh, I think the guy who reviewed it called it uh, one of the best-looking uh, Blu-rays of the year so far. I feel a sneeze coming, but it's not happening. <laughs> and then special features goes, um, they gave it a three and a half out of five stars, and the reason being was they felt there wasn't a, like that much, and they felt there should have been more. However, they listed the special features on Blu-ray.com, and it said that I believe there was a 30-minute featurette, and then a couple 20-minute featurette, like maybe one 20-minute featurette, and then a couple like 10, 15-minute featurettes. There, there was a lot though. Like, it's not like there's like three things on here. Like, there's a lot. I think there's might be deleted scenes. I, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But I know there's featurettes on like the the use of the vehicles in the film, the weapons and everything. Um, I think there's uh, something on the characters uh, from what I remember. But that is basically everything that is included in this Blu-ray release. Now, I am actually very happy I went to Target to get the comic book version again. I haven't looked through the whole thing, but it's cool that they give you a 64-page comic. They are charging more, though. Again, when I went to my Target, they had these without the slipcover with this, this sticker on it right here. This sticker right there, the one I'm pointing to on the shrink wrap of the standard Blu-ray. But it was a lie, because the comic is not, the comic comes like this, okay? So did you guys come across that? That's what happened to me. Um, but uh, don't buy it, don't buy that, because it doesn't come in the comic. It's $19.99, because it doesn't have a slip cover, but just don't buy it. I mean, it comes with all the same stuff, just no slip cover, no comic. Um, but just get this one, when you go to Target, feel for the thick uh, slip cover, feel for the thick packaging. That's, that's the one with the comic book. Um, so there you have it, guys. Um, that's Mad Max Fury Road. Um, Best Buy's doing the exclusive steelbook, in case anyone's interested in that. And there you have it, guys. Real quick thoughts on Fury Road. I reviewed it. Of course, I'll leave a link somewhere in the video. I wasn't a huge diehard fan of it the first time I saw it, and I've only seen it once since. I saw it in May, mostly because I went to this draft house theater, and they interrupted me like three different times throughout the movie because they like you, they feed you during the movie. And I was with a couple buddies, and we had a great time, but I just hated how they kept interrupting me. So I didn't get to enjoy the movie as much, and I also had not seen the first Mad Max and The Road Warrior, uh, Mad Max 2, um, before this movie. I, bo I bought both on Blu-ray after I saw uh, Fury Road in theaters, and I watched them over the summer. And I really like the first two Mad Max films. I haven't seen Thunderdome because a lot of people said it was crap. But uh, now I'm going to rewatch Fury Road, and I'll probably like it a lot more. Uh, but this was like my fourth favorite, uh, fifth favorite movie of the summer, actually. Like, I had a lot of fun watching it. It's got a great final act. The action is high-octane intense crap. Uh, intense. I almost said crap. Like, I, I meant it to be a good thing. Anyway, guys, there you have it. It's late. I'm tired. Um, so there's Mad Max Fury Road. Definitely pick this up if you were a fan of the film. Great Blu-ray, uh, great release. Um, and from what Blu-ray.com says, great uh, picture and audio. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Um... Bye-bye, guys.